in this video, we're going to explore the three most difficult genres to record and mix. Hi, my name is Joey Sturgis and welcome to the Joey Sturgis Tones YouTube channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and to all my subscribers, welcome back. Don't forget to like this video and ring the bell to get notified when we upload new videos. So let's dive into it. Let's be real for a minute. Some things are much harder to work with than others. We've all seen the comparison of pop musicians playing three chords to 100,000 people and jazz musicians playing 100,000 chords to three people. And there's a bit of truth in the joke. Based on that analogy alone, there's some merit to the argument that more complex isn't always more popular. And similarly, working hard isn't always going to be about having more technical proficiency. Regardless of your personal taste in music, I hope you'll keep an open mind and stick with me here. The genres I want to talk about today have value in being some of the most difficult to work with while having a huge mainstream appeal. We won't get into any kind of subgenre nonsense that's difficult because you've never heard of it. All right, I'm a little biased on this one, but first we're going to talk about metal. For many engineers and producers, metal requires the most technical aptitude to achieve the perfect mix. A great metal song is loud, fast, and most of the time locked to the grid. And these levels of accuracy and attention to detail aren't as common for some other genres that pride themselves on the swing and groove that drive their tracks. Other genres that do demand this type of dedication often aren't doing it anywhere near the beats per minute you'll find in a metal song. Metal engineers and producers need to be experts at editing. Tasks like time alignment and sample replacement are often prerequisites for a consistent sound before the song even reaches the mix session. When you do reach the mix session, you've got extended instruments galore to work with. Bass guitars often reach higher into the mid-range as producers try to achieve a clinky bass tone, and extended range guitars reach down into the bass guitar territory as their lower frequencies make them sound heavier, and even the kick drums break some of the common rules as the click of the kick becomes the best way for it to cut through the mix. I could go on for days about why metal is so different from other genres, but I think that's why those that work with it love it so much. Your mind is working at 100 miles per hour as you keep track of all the elements in a dense mix, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Now let's jump into the orchestra genre. If you need a reason for why this genre is on the list, just go watch a clip of someone recording an orchestra for a big film soundtrack. They're rarely recorded individually in small studios. Orchestras get the big studio treatment, where any concept of keeping things low budget <laughs> goes out the window. Now orchestras can have hundreds of musicians all playing together in a single room, and this recording session can be a nightmare to deal with as the instruments mask each other you know, during the recording process, and it usually takes dozens of microphones combined with the right placement and techniques to get a great sounding orchestra. Coupling the complexity of the recording process with the industry's trend away from these everyone in a room approaches to recording, orchestra and film audio engineers are becoming a rare breed of highly sought after professionals. Last but not least on our discussion today is country. And for our list today, this is easily the most mainstream genre of the bunch. Country music, especially in its modern form, is known for being one of the simplest from a production and arrangement standpoint. And many of the lyrical themes and chord progressions are commonly used in most radio-friendly genres. Where country differs, though, is in the acute attention to detail on live acoustic instrumentation. As country becomes more and more influenced by rock and pop, the acoustic elements don't fade away. Things like acoustic guitars, mandolins, and banjos are commonly heard in top 40 country songs, and recording or mixing them is an art form in and of itself. Modern country engineers know that it's about capturing the unique characteristic of the instrument in the recording sessions and mixing them in a way that enhances those characteristics alongside the rest of the tracks. Tools like Bus Glue Billy Decker take these enhancements and put them into easy to control plugins, but having the capability to apply it is only half the battle. You need to know when to use them and how much to use. The same attention carries over into other instruments like drums and electric guitars. Country is still the most common genre to use live acoustic drums and the shimmery cleans and edge of breakup overdrives are enough to make you understand why the artistic liberties that a studio affords have not been lost in this genre. Just like the acoustics though, it's all about accentuating their best features. So much of what goes into making a genre difficult to record or mix is subjective. I've been working with metal for decades, and at this point, I have an easier time working with it than, you know, anything like pop or country or hip hop. It's a niche that I was passionate about and I stuck with it. 
There are other engineers that only ever work with orchestra music or you know, country music and can give you the perfect setup for any one of those sessions faster than anyone else. But if you're looking for the shortcuts to great sounding productions, make sure you check out all that our JST VIP program has to offer. Members get exclusive access to guides, boot camps, plugins, as well as mix critiques from industry mixers like Billy Decker and myself. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. If you've got another audio buddy who would love this content, please share it. Hit the bell to get notified when we upload new videos. And don't forget to check out the link in the description below before you go. You are the best. We'll see you soon.